Welcome back to Taco Potato Mustang. This is like the 21st episode of the Fox Body Project. And we're gonna call this one, Why and How I'm an Idiot. Okay, so, um, after I finished my last video where I ran into a series of problems, I decided to give myself more problems by doing the thing that is wrong. So I had been looking at pictures of brake line setups on other Fox bodies and not noting that, um, not keeping in mind that whoever had done the brake sort of upgrades, changes on the car previously had done what's called a three to two conversion, which uh, apparently that's a common, that's a thing you're supposed to do if you change to rear disc brakes, which is what was done on this car. So basically what it means is that um, instead of having three brake lines going into the master cylinder, you have two brake lines. And um, so I, for some reason, did something different than that. Basically what I did is I took an extra brake line that I had from a Maximum Motorsports kit that I had got and I put it um, on the other side thinking that it would come up and go into um, this brake line if I ended up using it, which is the which would be the um, rear port brake line. So people on the internet who obviously know more about this shit than I do, they pointed out that um, I had done that incorrectly. I mean, the good news is that it's definitely reversible. I just need to take out the brake line that I put in and um, put back in this old brake line. This is basically runs from the back of the factory proportioning valve and into the front driver side brake. So I basically just created more work for myself when just doing a little bit more research probably would have saved me that hassle. So um, yeah, and basically what I need to do now, since I don't have a set of factory brake lines, essentially what I, I was going to use this setup, but that doesn't make any sense because if I use this line setup, then I need something that goes in to the other end of this. So like this part goes from the proportioning or from the proportioning valve into this and this goes into the master cylinder. So I do have this extra line, which is not a perfect fit, but it's possible that I'll be able to make it work. Um, and then essentially once I get the, um, once I get the master cylinder bench bled, then I just need to fit those lines into the, from the master cylinder to the proportioning valve and then um, proceed from there. So anyways, that's today's reason why I'm an idiot, but you know what? If you're not making mistakes, you're not learning. I mean, fortunately there's people on the internet who are more than willing to point out mistakes and tell you how to do things the correct way. So once again, people from Stangnet, Fox Body, sub forums, you, you have uh, saved my, my ass. So, um, that's the latest for now. Okay. I got this, the brake line that I did, that I did not need in there taken out. It's, uh, this one here. Don't need it. And got the front original front brake line back into the other end of the proportioning valve and back onto the actual front brake line. Although I do want to double check, probably just, I don't want to strip it, but I also want to make sure it's, um, that it's in all the way. So I'm not having brake fluid leaking. Um, I mean, I guess we'll probably check when I actually do the, uh, brake bleeding 
So um, hopefully we'll get to that soon. Okay, I'm back at it with the Fox body after uh, I don't know how many days. I took a little break to uh, get the GT500 mufflers on the dude's thing. Quite happy with that. Um, nice to have the coyote sounding a little bit meaner than stock. Um, so I got the seat back in, um, got most of the interior stuff back where it's supposed to be. Now, trying to make sure that I have brake lines that work with the master cylinder and I'm trying different combinations of the different stuff that I got and it seems like maybe I screwed up again um, or I'm gonna have to find some way to improvise because basically um, this one doesn't have, um, it has an open plug here so I'd have to find something to probably can take that out. Um, so I have three different brake lines and none of them seem to line up. I can't tell if maybe the proportioning valve is further forward than it's supposed to be, but I, I need to look at some more pictures. This is uh, kind of annoying. I mean, I, I tried with the brake lines that I had and um, part of the reason why I'm doing this is to replace those because uh, it seems like they're made of copper, although it is possible they're made of, um, I think it's called like cupra nickel or something. It's like a combination of copper and nickel. And um, it's hard to tell because apparently that is not magnetic. So a magnetic magnet that I used did not respond to it. So I'm just kind of assuming that those are copper and um, those are not factory brake lines, so I might need to have to like take those somewhere and have um, stainless steel or whatever material version of those made and then um, uh, use those. And then I guess try to sell these other lines that I ended up buying that I don't need. Um, there's a lesson here, kids. Do your research. Uh, do a lot of it. Otherwise, you'll buy shit that you don't need. So, um, kind of a little bit annoyed at myself, but also just annoyed at the situation because I really would like to get these lines on. And then, you know, we'll do the brake bleed, the master cylinder bench bleed, and also um, get the lines on and then do the brake bleeding and then take the car for a drive for the first time in over a month. So, um, I'll have to see if I can, um, either modify the lines that I have or, um, uh, try to, uh, have something custom made. I don't know. You can see that the previous lines, they line up pretty good with the new master cylinder, but I was looking at, I was trying to find a set of the of OEM um, brake lines. And the only place I could find them was eBay. And the ones that I'm seeing, they said they're, they're factory OEM, whatever you wanna call it, um, for the Fox Body 5.0 and the 2.3. And, but they don't look exactly the same. So I'm not keen on spending between 20 and 50 bucks on another set of lines that might not fit. So back to the computer for more research. So after spending some more time on the internets, it has been determined that I need to get a set of brake lines that are kind of the OEM. Um, Jesus. Being attacked by a Gen B. close call. Anyways, so it was determined that the best course of action is to um, use a set of OEM brake lines. And fortunately, somebody on one of the forums um, 
said he had a set of lines that he's getting rid of because he's going to a um, some other type of setup. I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, Mustang 5L5. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you hooking me up. But yeah, he said he was going to give me, he sent me his brake lines. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and use those when they get here. And um, hopefully the uh, master cylinder install can proceed as planned. So, so I did. I just checked the tracking on the brake lines that I'm waiting on, and it seems like they're not going to be here for another couple of days. And that's assuming that there's no delays with the Postal Service. I know they've been having some challenges lately, unfortunately. Um, I did think about possibly doing these. I got some gaskets because uh, I wanted to um, <clears throat> replace the gaskets on the valve covers and on the upper and lower intake manifold. Um, and I think the one for the EGR throttle body, I think it goes here or here, can't remember. But I'm going to... I, w I do want to drive the car after, for a little bit after I get the brakes fixed, so I'm going to hold off on taking the engine apart for just for now. Um, but hopefully, in uh, a week or so, I will have an, uh, a more comprehensive and successful update to report on the um, on the brake master cylinder. So, not a lot of updates other than reporting on my foolish mistakes and um, the eventual um, solution, tentative solution for the uh, brake lines, brake master cylinder, brake booster stuff for that saga to end. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel and like my video, please subscribe. Uh, keep an eye out for more Taco Potato Mustang videos. Take care. Peace out.